It's the Colonials with the ball right to left across your screen in the home whites. Right State in the road. Black uniforms with the green trim as Vuletic gets the rebound and puts it up and in. You've had just one field goal in two minutes. Simone Morris, who was our player of the game on Friday night with the basketball. Pull up, jumpers up and in. And she was on fire in the first quarter. In that team that obviously can score the basketball, but also early on, especially with some of the games they played in the non-conference, maybe catching the eye of the Colonials plus two in the carom category. Barnwell turns the corner. Good defense from behind by Van Campen. Lean block. Trailing the play and laying it up and in is Kara Van Kampen. Great sequence by her. Not in a scoring position and will probably result in a turnover anyway. Ball kicks back. Three-pointer missing for Van Kempen. And the three-point struggles continue for Wright State. While they are a sharp shooting team, made just three of eight on Friday night at Youngstown State. And thus far today, one of five. Vuletic. Hands to three. That clear view three for the Colonials puts them back on top, eight to six. And don't forget, for every three point. Johnson with four on the shot clock. Down to two. She'll drive to the basket and lay it in. Great job by Natalie Johnson, realizing the shot clock was expiring. Bob Howard penetrates. Near side, it's Miller. She'll return the favor with a three of her own. Cutting the Colonial advantage down to one. Of their 14 games, so in over half their games, nearly hitting double digits. Natalie Johnson feigns a three, feeds Vuletic. Vuletic hesitates and lays it in. Good feed, good finish for the Colonials, who are up by three. Luby puts up a three. Vuletic in her face, but still makes it, and it's a one-point game again. Sit there and, and wait for the pass to come for a quality shot. Mike O'Dell steps around a defender and cans the long two. Hutchison working it back. Scott penetrates. Near corner wide open, and you can't leave Alexis Hutchison open for three. He'll can it the majority of the time. Kicking to the corner, and Hutchison was able to step into that three and can it. Kirk up off the square and in, and the Colonials have done a great job of hesitating, feigning shots, getting Wright State out of position defensively, and then taking advantage. Continue to try to attack, and who they go after next in the Army defense. One bounce, turnaround jumper up and in for Micah O'Dell, who continues to fill it up at sorts for a moment. That will settle down with the Raiders working it around the perimeter. Far corner, this time the three is up and in for Lawrence Scott. Johnson in for Vuletic. Back to Johnson. Scoop up and in. Oh, my goodness. Natalie Johnson has been a highlight reel was a good shot, an open shot. It was early in the possession, no one under the rim for a rebound opportunity. That was going to be a one-and-done possession unless she splashed it. Like Alana just did there, putting the Colonials on top by five for the first time today. And it's timeout time for Gary Hoffman and the Wright State Raiders. Saves it in. Morris pushes to Barnwell. Long two canned for Naomi Barnwell. Good ball distribution. So able to catch and shoot and get on the score board was pretty important for her, especially after a previous outing. Takeaway by Odell. Back one on one. Hesitates and spins it up and in. Anna. Morris leaves it back. Trailing the play and finishing is Danielle Vuletic and gives the big dime to Simone Morris. Great drive by Morris. All eyes on Morris. And then Vuletic, good feel with the spacing, able to slide right in and get the feed. Between theatrics and embellishment in today's game is that jumpers up and in for Barnwell. And the Colonials have shown today it's been as high as nine. Hutchison. 
Jumper won't go. Volleyball rebound. Raiders get it. Outside it goes, and a three-pointer is up and in for Caravan Kempen. Morris high on the left. Barnwell feigns the step in and then steps back and hits another one. And shooting starting to pick up right now. Both teams need to step into those shooting lanes, those passing lanes, and make sure these shooters can't step into their shot. There's another one. And Hutchison talked about how deadly she is. She's starting to get hot as well. Nine points. Halfway to her average. Alana got caught up in the wash, couldn't get there on time. And Colonials look to answer back with the three of their own on the other side. And as Barnwell looked to step back, a little veteran move there by the redshirt senior. Lane Farrell grabbed at Barnwell's hip, didn't allow her to get to the basketball cleanly. Colonials going to have to play four on five. Volatich a little shaken up. Back behind the play, they'll do so, and they'll do it well with Simone Morris rattling in a jump shot. Inside, it's Vuletic, three defenders there. That means somebody's open. It's Alana who's open, and she'll hit the three from the near corner, stretching the RMU lead back to seven. Very slow possession by RMU. That ball sat up top for a while, and then Vuletic had it in the lane for a while, and didn't look like anything was going to materialize. Good job by her once everybody collapsed. She was able to find an open player. And Alana able to knock down the three. Alana got the steal on the other end. Turned to a quick possession, though, for the Colonials. Bulletich puts up the three that misses, and the Raiders take it the other way for a layup to cut the Colonials lead back down to five. And Wright State's going to have to use their defense, their speed on these runouts to get back into this game, especially if they're struggling to score in the half court. Another three for the Colonials, and don't forget for every three-point basket made by RMU this season, Clearview Federal Credit. Before the RMU defense was able to settle, they were able to find an open shot, just didn't make it from the corner, but Farrell had a good look. Naomi Barnwell turnaround jumpers up and in, and a quick timeout for Hoffman and the Raiders. By Luella Alana, fed back Mastral. No look, Alana for three. Bounces twice and misses. Rebound Luby. A tough possession there by RMU. You'd like to have a lay-in opportunity off of that steal. Alana was by herself for a long portion of that. Three-pointer missing by the Raiders. They get the offensive rebound, though. Off the glass and in. Nice move by Baumhauer. Colonials up by 10 again. Near corner comes. Three-point shot netted for... Micaiah Miller. Miller, Baumhauer, cross court. Farrell for three, she'll net it in. That's the Colonel's advantage down to Seth Dahl. Barnwell inside Vuletic. Couple of bounces, has it stuffed back. Now it's Mastral for three. Banks it in. Side for Van Kempen. Miller penetrating. Turns the corner on Alana and banks it in. When she puts the ball on the deck. Mastral gets past the defender and lays it up with the left. Nice confident drive by Mastral, especially after that today. Penetration, pause, work back. And a three-pointer's up and in for Farrell, and a good sequence for her to finish off. Quarter at number three, but did for the Colonials 53 to 46. Ball in for the Raiders and high off the glass. And Lane Farrell finishes. Really like Farrell's game, especially today. That's 13 points for her. Four rebounds, two assists, three blocks, and just one turnover. She's been the most efficient scorer for the Raiders this afternoon. Step back jumper, Mrs. Johnson rebound, put back up and in for Rebecca Dromo. And big answer for RMU, trying to keep Wright State at arm's length. Duomo finds the score sheet. Out on the high left. Three up and in for Casey Baumhauer. And the pace is starting to pick up. Great State has outscored Robert Morris 8-2 to two since RMU had their last 10-point lead. And Natalie Johnson with another beauty. All steps around defenders. 
Cuomo through traffic. Up with the left and in. Nice sequence by Baumhauer. Scott back to Baumhauer. Baumhauer gets some separation from Mastral. Raider open under the basket. Three point shot near corners up and in for the Raiders. Makaya Miller cutting the Colonials lead down to two, and it seems like it hasn't been two in forever. Nice job by the Colonials distributing the basketball as it goes from Odell to Morris to Barnwell and into the cylinder. Able to break that press, and Wright State's going to ramp up that pressure and start playing a little bit faster, hoping to speed up RMU. Raiders answer with a three on the other end, though, and that cuts the Colonials lead down to one. We'll see how the Colonials handle this. This is more Wright State playing this up-tempo, rhythmic game. Alana from her shoe tops cans the tray. Big three-pointer there for Luella Alana to answer back and stretch the RMU lead back to four. Great state. You want Voltage away from the hoop. She can make threes, but it wasn't the time to put one up. Penetration and kick. Baumhauer back to Scott and Scott for the three. Scoop sits on the iron forever and falls in good, and now they lead 66 to 65. Inbound. Hands off Mastro. One bounce. Alana for three. Barnwell with the rebound. One bounce. Put back won't go. Rebound Voltage. What strength by Voltage? Outside Morris for three. Simone. Huge hit by Simone Morris and give Barnwell and Voltage credit on that possession, keeping that possession alive for the Colonials. Back in the game is Hutchison in foul trouble, but there's a minute to go and the Raiders need her presence. Farrell trying to back down Barnwell. Count the basket and she'll head to the free throw line. Into the paint and let Lane Farrell do what she does. Great game by her, up over 20 points now. By as many as 10 in the late third quarter. Morris, penetration, banks it in. And now the shot clock is off and the Raiders take the timeout. And Kempen is out, Miller is in. It's Hutchison with the basketball. Scoop shot won't go. And a minimal contact there by Alex Mastro. First free throw is good for Hutchison, and we are tied. Second free throw, rims off, Barnwell rebound. Couldn't have worked out much better for the Colonials. Opportunity for last shot, shot clock off, tie game. Mastro, heady play there. Settled things down, then brought it up court. Now it's Alana. Clock's down to five. Inside, Voltage lost it. Now the Raiders can put up a runner. That one won't go. And we've got some bonus basketball. Boy, it was set up at the other end. If Voltage can corral that pass, he's got a... Daniel Voltage now with a dozen carrots. Lob in Barnwell. Somehow just got that behind Hutchinson and lays it in. Excellent pass by Master, too. That's the only place where that could have gone and been successful. A little bit farther, and Barnwell's under the basket. A short pass, obviously, would have been intercepted by Hutchinson. Now it's Luby with the basketball. Pulls up, double clutch, shot is up and in, and we're tied again at 72. Her fourth person. Penetration, Hutchison. Fades away, jumper, glass ball miss. A dozen quiet points today for Hutchison. Now it's Morris. Puts up the three, and cans it! Simone Morris with that big three. Gated what would have been a wide open lay in for Barnwell. Inside, Bulletich adjusting around the defender and up and in. Ultimately, it's still leading. He said Justin, perfect four of four. Now five of five. Yeah, when you have a shooting percentage of 45%, you're in good shape, especially when your opponent is in the 30s. But not today for RMU as the Raiders are hanging right with them here. But they really need points on this one. Lane violation against RMU. Count would have been. 
Hutchison with the basketball. She looks to penetrate. Masterall shuts that door. Hutchison fading away off the square and in. And a quick basket by the Raiders gives Robert Morris the ball. Alana with the basketball off the inbound. 10 seconds. Voltage up high with about six and a half seconds. And Barnwell misses her first free throw. Parenthetically, the Colonials second free throw. That one missing as well. Rebound batted around and the Raiders have it. Team at the line. Hit a prayer. Both free throws made. Colonials down three, 80 to 77. Morris, baseball pass in. Barnwell, one bounce, two bounces. She has a decent look. Oh, it bounces off the backboard and off the iron. Boy, what a look by Barnwell. No one from the Raiders came out to challenge this shot. And thought she had a really good chance as it went glass rimming out. 